Sue Kaufman. I am a health and physical educator and also a fitness coach. I've had many, many people through my lifetime come to me and say, I'd really like to lose weight or I'd really like to get in shape, but they're not really sure how. So I've created this tutorial to show you how to make a fitness plan. And the first part of a good fitness plan is to set your goals. So, you have decided to make the change. You want to lose weight, you want to get in shape. Now, if you were starting a business, you wouldn't do it without a plan. So, if you're starting a fitness journey, you have to have a really good plan for that, too. Now, the first thing you need to do is set your goal. And there's three really important things you need to remember to do that. It must be specific. So that means not vagueness. Number two, it must be measurable, which means there need to be some numbers attached to it. And number three, it must have a time frame. Here's an example of a goal that's just too vague. And a lot of people start out this way. They'll say, I want to lose weight. But it doesn't really give you any direction to go in. So that one's just too big. This one's better. It says I want to lose 10 pounds. So now we're getting more specific and we're getting measurable because we put some numbers to it. But it's not quite there yet. Now this is a really good goal because it's specific, it's measurable, has some numbers to it, and it has a time frame. I want to lose one pound a week for the next 10 weeks for a total of 10 pounds. So if you set a goal like this for yourself, you would know exactly what you needed to do and exactly how long you had to do it. So that's how to set your fitness goal. So get a pen, get a pencil, get a piece of paper, or your uh, word processor and set a goal for yourself. Make it specific, make it measurable, and give it a time frame. And I'll be back soon with part two. See you then. Bye. <laughs>